What's going on guys, I'm Joe Fairwell and today I'm going to take you through a two minute comparison of the SIG X Macro and the SIG P365XL which this has been my carry gun for years now. I just got to play with this one today and I want to share this uh, with you and see what you guys think. So let's first look at the size differences. Honestly it's not a whole lot. If you look at these from the top they look pretty freaking similar. The barrel length is about the same or maybe even the exact same. One of them has the little compensator that is the X Macro. Um, the profile of the dots a little bit different but overall they're pretty much the same size uh the x macro feels really freaking good in my hand it actually has like a full size feel now the barrel itself is imported the slide is got a little comp on there and if you notice the barrel is short shorter than the slide so the comp is actually built into the, the gun itself which is pretty cool what we want to check now is what difference does it actually make all right so the first one to test out the xl which this is again the one that i've been carrying for a long time I've got a 12 round flush fit mag in here, fresh target up, and we're just gonna do some double taps and a couple of extra rapid fire shots and see what this thing looks like in slow motion. So I'm comfortable with the XL. Now we're gonna test out the macro and I put a couple of rounds for this, but check out what this looks like. This is with a 17 round mag in there. A little tight on the spring right now, brand new gun, so it's not really surprising, but let's go ahead and put a couple rounds through this thing. All right, obviously for me, that is absolutely noticeably different. A little bit bigger gun, a little bit bigger grip, but the compensator does help to keep that on target a little bit better. All right guys, so I gotta say, this gun, feels completely different. I'm surprised because I was expecting them to be very similar. This feels completely different. That's my group with the uh, the macro. With the XL, I've got one up high, one down low. That, that's me. Um, but the feel of the gun is very different. This one feels freaking awesome. So we're going to do a quick build drill comparison back to back with both guns. All right, back to back build drills. We're going to start it off with the XL. I got a steel at seven, maybe eight ish yards. Stand by. One seventy-seven, somewhat low ready. Nothing too impressive. Let's do that again, but we're gonna do it with the X or er, X Macro. Stand by. I dropped one shot off of that one. That was a one fifty-five. Kind of rolled up a little bit. So not taking into account at all concealability, which this one is going to be a little bit more uh, bulgy, if you will. This one is going to be a little bit more concealable with the flush fit mags. Not taking that into account at all. This actually shoots really well for a little compact gun. I think that the comp helps some. I like the way that it shoots. I've heard that there are some issues with springs and whatnot. That's to be determined. But first impressions for a quick, maybe a little bit longer than two minute review, comparison, showdown, whatever you want to call it definitely going to go with the x macro i'm going to put some more rounds on this i'm excited about trying it out and i may have to retire this for my daily carry so thank you guys for tuning in drop a comment drop a like let me know what you guys think hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on the range